guys so I thought I should make this quick video of disclaimer because it has come to my attention that uh, there are lots of <laughs> uh, stories swirling around on the internet and actually it has gone viral about someone claiming to be my father and apparently that I abandoned my father and I've been getting some really nasty emails and lots of nasty comments in my posts on Instagram and on Facebook uh, about abandoning my parent. So I just had to clarify this. Uh, you people cannot be that gullible and that silly to think that <laughs> that person who is claiming to be my parent is my parent because we look absolutely nothing alike. Uh, look at the person and look at me. Do we look alike? The only parent that I know and the only father that I know is this woman. <laughs> look at her. She is this woman. This is my only parent and this is my father, my mother, my darling mama. This woman, oh, I don't know how to describe it to you. This woman is my superhero. I, when people ask me who is my inspiration, I say her. I call her a superwoman. She was a single mom and she went through so much and had to go through a lot of pain to bring us up and she had to do so many stuff in order for us to survive. This is the only person I know. Uh, if this person that is claiming to be my parent and gladly claiming to be my parent, then he is a deadbeat father because Hello, where has it been all my life? I don't know this person. Because I did live considerably uh, part of my life in Nigeria before moving to the United Kingdom. So how come this person didn't make contact when I was in Nigeria? Why all of a sudden I'm in London and the press and media are going following, following my life and all of a sudden this person claims to be my parent? You people should ask that question. Come on now, use your brain and ask that question. <laughs> so anyway, I just thought I should clear that out and to let you guys know, but I find it very disrespectful to this woman for someone else to be claiming, uh, to claiming, claiming to be my parent that was there and really loves me and blah, blah, blah. No, I'm sorry. This woman is proud of me and loves me and is there for me. If anybody uh, could tell my story and tell my truth, is this woman. Apart from me, it is this woman. So I'm sorry, but I don't know that person and you people cannot be that gullible. Okay, so moving on, I, I just want to also say that the people who write that story and the people who who have been, uh, they've been taunting and uh, writing nonsense and fabricating stories about me for years. Uh, this um, website called Something Voices, they absolutely don't like me. So they always write nasty stuff about me. The way they write, their style of writing when they're writing about me, it's very hateful. They use transphobic laws, they use hateful diction, and they use rude commentary and personal sentimental commentary to describe me, which is very stupid because if they are journalists, they should be professional. Even the lady that was, pre she's not even a lady, the girl that was pre pre presenting the video was very rude. She was uh, using her personal feelings to describe me and using male pronouns and using misgendering me and using transphobic laws. So I'm like, I'm sorry, but as a journalist, you're supposed to sit on the fence. Even if you don't like me or respect me, you need to respect your story. You need to sit on the fence and don't pick sides. That is what makes a good journalist. You need to remain professional. And they are not professional on that website, Something Voices. They are not professional. And in the video, they weren't professional either. Um, so I would suggest to them to go back to school and learn more about journalistic etiquette and stop writing nonsense and writing trash and digging up nonsense and rubbish in order to draw attention to their rag of paper. So I just I should just put that out there. Um, <laughs> on Saturday, I'll be talking to Monica Roberts, someone I respect very much and look up to, a trans activist from the United States of America, who will be talking about uh, uh, race issues in America. And also, the, as I'll be asking the question, are all white people racist in relation to the recent scandal in the United Kingdom about a L'Oreal model saying that all white people are racist? I know that not all white people are racist, but Monica is in support of that notion that all white people are racist, and I'm against it. So we'll be having a debate. So if you think you'll be, if, if it's something you would like to contribute in, or perhaps be interested in listening to, please do tune in at 4 p.m. on Saturday uh, on facebook.com forward slash Sahara to watch the show live. Um, it's going to be 3 p.m. GMT. So I hope to see you all then. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Mwah. Love you all.